today you are going to learn how to make that video only play on half. What's up YouTube, my name is Marvin Aziz, I'm a freelance developer and I'm about to show you how to use a tiny bit of code to actually make that video only play on hover. So, let's get into the flow. I've got something for you guys. So, as some of you may remember actually, um, this is a design I previously built in another video with that nice smooth button hover effect. If you want to check that one out, link in the description. Um, but what we are going to do is actually replace that image in the middle with a video which is supposed to play on hover. All right, so uh, let's get straight into it. I'm going to remove that image up there. I'm going to press uh, Command E to find the embed element and put it in there. And then what I'm going to do, as you are going to as well, is I'm going to get that HTML tag down there, put it in there, and now just for you to understand. Um, it's a simple div wrapper um, called hover video wrapper, and there's a video um, element inside, right? So it's supposed to loop, it's supposed to preload, and it's supposed to be muted initially, right? Um, also, um, as you may know, it's not so easy to host videos on Webflow, so um, I decided to go that quick route and uh, host it on one of my older web, um, WordPress websites. But you can obviously host it wherever you want to. And yeah, save that and close. So we've got the video up here. But as you can tell, it's not playing yet. So I am going to open my page settings and scroll all the way down to the body and the head tag, right? So what I would like to do now is get all that JavaScript code up here and put it in the script tags in the body. All right, script, boom, separate that, put it in there, okay? So um, what this is going to do is, first of all, it's going to get all the video sequences in the, on the page, right? So um, in case you would like to uh, use multiple videos with that effect, um, you can do so by simply using that code up here okay so next um, it's going to loop over all of the videos you have on the site and add event listeners so the event listener basically checks if the mouse is on top of the video yeah it's moving on top of the video and if it is it's going to play that video if not the mouse is moving out of the video right it's supposed to pause the video and it's going to pause that video exactly at the place at the time where it last played right so it's not going to start from the beginning it's um, simply going to pause and play and that's a nice and smooth effect I would like to have on that page so let's hit publish and check how that video is actually looking in real life so that's the final result and as you can see as soon as I move my mouse on top of that video it starts to play as soon as I move it back out it stops to play right there and that's exactly the effect I want to have so I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to hit that like and subscribe button um, see you in the next one